I lived with my family five miles out of Anniston on the Birmingham Highway. I was 12 years old at the time. My dad had a grocery store beside the house, and the name of it was Forsyth and Son Grocery. One day he said there were some black agitators, nigger agitators, coming down from the north. He said he and some of his friends had a little surprise party planned for them, and he kind of laughed. It seemed to them that, that the blacks were, were penetrating some sort of barrier that they had no right to come through. And sitting next to a, a person on the bus was the beginning of that barrier coming down, and they couldn't stand it. The people who were surrounding the bus immediately were all males, and they were all white. Suddenly I saw an arm come up out of the crowd, a white arm, and it had something like a chain or a, a crowbar or something like that in it, and he broke out the back window of the bus and lobbed something into the hole. Then the bus broke into flames. They weren't ashamed of what they were doing. They thought it was a social service. You know, this is how you be a man. You know, I'm taking care of you. I'm protecting my, my women and children. They, they were proud of it. I went to the house and got a bucket of water and a stack of Dixie cups, and I walked right out into the middle of that crowd I picked me out one person who reminded me of Pearl, the woman who helped raise me. And I started with her. I took her a glass of water. I washed her face. I held her. <laughs> I gave her water to drink. <laughs> and as soon as I thought she was going to be OK, I got up and picked out somebody else. I knew that what I was doing was certainly going to irritate and possibly dangerously incense the people who had set this whole drama up because I was undermining it. But I didn't care. I did not care. I was a, truly a Christian and one of my favorite passages was whatever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it to me. Helping the Freedom Riders really caused me to be on the fringes of my culture and society from then on. There was a Klan meeting when they were just trying to decide whether to try me as an adult or, you know, let me off as a child who didn't know better. I was considered to be weak-minded by the Klan or maybe somebody who's a little bit retarded. And if it was something that there was something wrong with me, they wouldn't have to do anything, and that's the solution they landed on. My dad didn't talk about it ever with me, and it was just like it never happened. Later on, when Pearl was on her deathbed, I said, Pearl, tell me something. My dad never got over being mad at me about that bus, burning bus, did he? He never got over being mad that I carried water to those people. And she said, no, child, that's not right. Said, so Mr. Richard told me that he'd never been prouder of you than he was that day. Mm -hmm.